So um, when homeowners first op um, approach us for assistance with the renovation, some of them um, tell us that they've already received two to three quotes um, you know, from other builders. So we know it's a cliche thing to do by um, you know, receiving three quotes, but we're going to talk to you today about why this isn't always um, the best approach and why builders quotes are so different and what you can do to look what you can look out for instead. So welcome Jane um, we'd love you to tell us something about yourself and uh, and about your about your business please. Hey Louise thanks yeah so I'm Jane from Distinct Renovations. They're a small renovation company it's just myself and my husband as the builder and supervisor and we focus on timber frame construction. The reason we became a builder was because Dean was a carpenter of you know, 15, 20 years. Um, we moved to Perth and saw that everything was built out of double brick. So we wanted to become a company that focused on timber frame. And yeah, that's how we started out. And we now do a lot of extensions and top stories uh, in around the Perth sort of metro area. We don't want to be a big builder. We want to stay small. And we also want to stay focused on the timber framing. So that's a little bit about us. Oh, well, thank you, Jane. So, Jane, um, you're then very aware then of, um, you know, obviously um, a timber frame um, builder versus even a brick frame builder uh, or a brick builder that, um, you know, quote, builders quotes can be split up so differently. And it's difficult if a um, homeowner is looking at various quotes to be able to compare to make sure that, you know, that they're all the same and why the prices are very different. Why do you think that they're all um you know, built up differently? You know, it depends on how many hours you've got for me to explain it, but um, <laughs> it's, oh, wow, it's such an open-ended question, but it's such an important question. So look, I think the most, like the key thing is first starting out with, is your builder giving you an estimate? Is your builder giving you a quote, a fixed price quote? Mm -hmm. If they're giving you an estimate, do not compare that to mm -hmm. what another builder says is their estimate, mm -hmm. because an estimate is an estimate. A fixed price quote is what you should get and you should wait to get until you have full plans, engineering, potentially even your energy and your CDC, which is a certificate of design compliance. Um, we like to wait till we get all of those things before we provide our homeowners with a full fixed price quote. Mm -hmm. We'll start with a ballpark figure, then we'll go to an estimate at initial design and then we do full fixed price quote. So first, I think it's really important. Are you comparing an estimate with an estimate or are you comparing an estimate with a quote or vice versa is it a is one builder providing you with a full fixed price quote and the other one's an estimate mm -hmm. that's really 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 important to get clear straight away mm -hmm. so that's number one make sure whatever you're comparing is is the same document in yes. builder's terms so that's really important I think like the obvious thing is that they're going to look different and feel different because every builder uses their own system or program mm -hmm. so you know we use a particular program to do our quoting whereas I'm sure you probably use a different one or may use the same one yes, so yes. the actual look and feel is going to be different as well I think the main difference is you know what what is uh, is the builder being specific and is he putting enough he she putting enough information in that quote so that you can pair apples with apples and not oh okay so we've allowed for a chrome toilet roll holder we've allowed for versus a phoenix ratty chrome ra5632 toilet roll holder yeah. so that the last one is you know what you're getting you can search for it versus what's the chrome toilet roll holder yeah so that's that's kind of i think the major thing is how much like wording is your builder put it in there and can you compare your toilet with that toilet of the other builder that's that's the most important thing I think yeah definitely there's you know lots of um you know important points there and and it is it's you know even building um builders methods of how they construct something can be quite different and um you know obviously you're going to get the end product at the end of the day but um, one builder could use some type of, you know, a certain type of building material and another builder could use a different type of building material. But at the end of the day, like you, you know, you guys will use timber and some other builder will use brick, but, you know, you're going to get that end result of your, you know, extension or whatever it is. So it's really important that, um, you know, when you are 
um, scoping builders to do your pricing for you, that you are giving them a specific scope of work document that every builder um, is really going to price off the same so that they're aware that, you know, okay, you want um, timber um, frames, you want, um, you know, double glazed windows, you, you know, they have a full understanding of exactly, um, you know, your requirements for that job, because if you're not specific either, then, you know, builder A is going to, um, you know, provide a price on bricks and single glazed windows and, a, you know, a standard, um, you know, budget bathroom, but builder B can provide you then the price with, um, you know, your bricks and your, um, a, you know, a different glazed window and a, a high end um, quality bathroom. So, and even it comes down to the tiling in the, you know, a bathroom, for example, that some builders might price from um, floor to ceiling and other builder might price from, um, floor to um, door height or the wet area so it's it's really crucial I think for people to understand that um, all builders if you want to be able to compare apples with apples and make sure that you're able to um, you know really understand the quotes that they all are working off the same same hymn page um, and they all have the specific items that you are after um, because otherwise you're going to get a skewered um, result and you're not going to be able to see why builder a is you know 20 grand more expensive than builder b or even more you know so i think that that that's a an important point for people um to be aware of you know um another thing i think um jane is that it's it comes down to allowances as well so um some builders yeah. will provide um you know a, a provisional sum item or a prime cost item or an allowance for specific items so um when they are preparing that proposal or, or quotation for you, um, you know that they make, may make an allowance because you may have not have specifically chosen the specific items, fixtures, and fittings that you want for that um, specific job. So obviously, to get a move on, you know there's an allowance made, but some builders may allow you know twenty square twenty dollars per square meter for tiles, whereas you want to choose a tile that's um, you know. $70 per square meter or another builder's price to that. So it's just important to note that, you know, you have to be aware of what the allowances are and, you know, what those, you know, potential allowances are and your prime cost items or your provisional sum items and, you know, why one builder might have allowed for that and another builder might have the full scope and specifications in there and um, so that you can compare properly as well. Yeah, I think I think allowance is a really really big thing, and, and we try um, we try our hardest on our fixed price quote. So that's the final quote that we do. We try really hard to have pretty much no allowances, or if any, it will be something like site works because yep. it's really 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 hard. Mm -hmm. Now I know there's builders out there that that do a fixed provisional sum. Uh, sorry, a fixed price for their site works and that and they promote it i will never we we will just never do that it's too there's too much unknown mm -hmm. i mean we've, we've dug up all sorts of things underground especially in like mount hawthorne and those types of areas yeah and you just can't you can only you really seriously can only guess and even our bobcat guys that we've been using for years and years even they can only guess so Provisional sums, I think, will always be with site works, depending mm -hmm. on depending on exactly how the the site is. Yeah. But on renovations, it's just really hard to predict. So other than that, we really try not to have any prime costs or any provisional yeah. sums, and that that's really just to do with preparing yourself. And what you were saying before about comparing, I just wanted to mention, and I think you sort of alluded to it. I think it's really the responsibility comes down to the homeowner to prepare and look that's why yourself and me like to educate and educate and educate in our in our content because I think it's so important for a homeowner to prepare themselves for when they go to the builder like we get people come to us saying I want to do a bathroom extension bathroom I want to add on an ensuite and a walk-in robe and I mean, I just wrote a blog recently and it's like, how long is a piece of string? I can't tell you how much that's going to cost. Yeah. But if you come to me and say, I want tiles around this price or this is what they look like. I want floor to ceiling tiles the whole way around. I want everything replaced. I'm going to move my shower to over here. And I want da, 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 da. then I can go, okay, it's going to cost you this much. Yeah. But that same bathroom renovation, 
could cost your next door neighbour $15,000 less because they were happy to leave the plumbing. They wanted chrome. They didn't want brushed gold. They wanted, you know, leave the floor tiles, just replace the wall tile, whatever, you know. So it's really down to the homeowner to prepare themselves for when they go to the builder. So then the builder can then give them an estimate because that's what it starts with and then compare those estimates and then go back to the builder asking questions to make sure that that estimate has that in it Mm -hmm. and then go, okay, cool. So these are two estimates. They look pretty similar. This one's a bit cheaper and I like that builder. I'm going to go with them or whatever, you know, but preparing the homeowner preparing is so, so, so important and knowing what do you want in your new home or your new space that you're going to renovate because that's just key to, to getting the right information from your builder when you ask them exactly and you know if if a homeowner is prepared and a builder understands exactly what they want um or you know and because at the end when you get that final price from you know builder a builder b builder c if the the builder is using the same quality materials the same quality of trades you know they have to have a profit for you know to keep their business running the prices shouldn't be that much different, to be honest. You know, there shouldn't yeah. be um, a, a huge difference. So, um, you know, you have to understand that if you're using quality materials and quality trades, then, um, you know, with one builder, and if you're not, if you're another builder, there's a massive difference, then you have to question that as well. The homeowner has to be aware to question that saying, okay, what's missing? Yeah. What, you know, what, what's not, um, what, what are you not including? That's, you know, this other builders including, you know, it's not just about then, jumping for the cheapest price it's it's really to be critical and think about it why is this why is there a massive um you know delta between the, the two quotes as well you know um <clears throat> what so i think um you know from that what advice then would you think that um you know that you could give to people um to make sure that they they won't get ripped off and um, that they're builder is competitively priced that you know if they want to to be able to compare um you know with different quotes is there any um, advice that you would give Jane yeah so I think like as I said I think the best advice I can give is prepare yourself before you approach the builder Mm -hmm. so write literally write down everything on a piece of paper that you want have have your Pinterest boards have your Instagram pictures saved send all of that information to the builder have a conversation with the builder and also make sure depending on what stage you're up to if it's a full fixed price quote or or whatever it may be but it's always also good to make sure that the builder's actually been on site especially Mm -hmm. when you're talking about a home extension or renovation so preparation is key but then the next thing is once you've got your estimates have them side by side and spend time going over and cross-referencing okay well that's that's that that's that that's that and then speak to the builder and make sure that they've included if something pops up on the other estimate that they've done this this and this and you can't see anything about that but you assume that it's on there don't assume go and ask that builder Mm. is this included and then if if they're very blase about what's included on the specification and the materials ask them the question ask them what's included but generally if there's not a lot of information included and this is obviously dependent on what stage you're at because as I said we we'll do a ballpark figure which will give you one figure and that's it yeah then an estimate will give you more details with a lot of allowances because it's not finalized Mm -hmm. and then the full fixed price estimate but if quote sorry if you've got two full fixed price quotes that your builder is going to build your home for and there is not a lot of information on one of them I can almost guarantee that they've not given your quote enough attention yeah. because they're just allowed that they're, they're they're just gonna lean on the whole contract and and everything will then become a variation yeah so yeah. I, I agree well, with that um, again that you, really that's like our philosophy is here is um you know we want before a job starts the homeowner to know exactly what they're going to get and exactly what it's going to cost before that you even start that job because you know it is it's so unfortunate and there's so many stories about um you know homeowners hit with variations and upon variations within their job and and we know that unfortunately within the industry there are builders that lowball their um the the you know their their price um to win a job and to hit um the homeowner with variations afterwards it's so important to, um for people to understand exactly what's included 
and excluded from their, um, you know, from their quote before they start the job. So, you know, a piece of advice that we would give um, is, you know, find a builder to that, that actually, um, you know, request an investment for that proposal as well. Because if you yeah. have builders that, um, you know, do free quotes, and there's so many in in per the Perth area that do free quotes, um, you know, they're not going to spend that time, the quality of time, um, and invest that time within your detailed proposal to scope out exactly what you require um, before that job starts. Because because they're working for free and, um, you know, and essentially that, you know, and it's just, it's not even that it's, you know, they're, they're probably doing it at the end of the day and they're tired and, you know, they, they want to spend time with their family and then they're, they're, you know, going into the office and having to, um, you know, to work on, on that quotation at night for you. And, you know, think of the quality of time and effort that's going to be put into that quote versus a builder that potentially will, you know, have a fee for that, um, you know, investment, who's going to spend the time to actually consider everything for your job to communicate with you to you know really understand the ins and outs and you know for that to be included then up front um you know before you even start because I feel even um you know it avoids then variations down the line so you know if you've got an, a fee for your proposal of a thousand dollars for example that's going to save you in the long run you know, without being, you know, you're not going to be hit with variations throughout the line, you know, throughout the project. So you, if you can imagine even taking a, a little bit of um, money from the end of your project and just putting it in at the beginning and investing that um, money and time into um, really getting your scope right, really understanding, uh, um, you know, working with the builder to understand what's um, included within your job, then that's just going to prevent so many, um, so much frustration um, throughout the bill so um, you know I think that's something important and um, to look at um, as well as you've suggested you know if you're getting a, a one page two page um, document from a builder that's a no-no as well you know you need to be looking at uh, a proposal that's you know really detailed and um, down to your specific items that you're going to um, you know receive um for you know the materials your selections and um, that are going to be used on the job because again it, it just eliminates frustration it eliminates any stress um you know you're really confident then you know this is what's happening on my job this is what's happening i'm going to this is what i'm going to receive this is what the outcome's going to look like and um you know with the, when there's no gray areas it makes the experience so much better for the the homeowner too and um, that they are you know really confident that this is this is what they're going to get and um you know it's not during the stages of the renovation then worrying about oh well with the builder um just installed this specific item you know th this toilet but i wanted that one you know if it's all detailed um there then there's just no room for for error you know yeah. so um i think that you know that's important and also not just um you know not just thinking about the price i think that it's really important to find a builder that you're the right fit with and you know a builder that you like that you um you know want to um you know have the trust with that you understand their procedures and their communication and, and how they run the jobs because you know it's one one aspect of your project is the price and don't get me wrong it's a large investment people are usually only going to renovate you know once or twice in their hopefully lifetime um but you know it it, it is or or build you know you guys um do um some building as well but um you know i think it's really important to um understand that you you also have to have a good experience you know it's it's just not about the price so um you know you want to you don't want to be stressed you you know some a lot of people come to us that are time per so it's really important to understand um that you have to have a builder that you're the right fit with and that you have a good relationship with from the get-go because if you don't that is just going to be um a really tricky renovation um experience you know you're going to have a builder <laughs> coming onto site every day that you know you're you know you dread the, the car or the van pulling up and um, but you know oh, yeah. you don't want that and because things you know renovations can take you know anywhere two three four five months so um you know you want yeah. to make sure that you've got that trust with the builder and um, that they're going to do the right thing by you and that you are that they have your interests at heart um and not just you know um their own and their own schedule and their own you know um margins and things like that so um, I think that's just important to note. It's just about 
you know, making sure that they are, um, that you're the right fit, but also competitively priced um, by making sure that they are including everything and, um, ex you know, talking about what's excluded as well, if, if there is anything. Um, so, so yeah, anything else that you'd think to add to that, Jane? No, not really. I think, I think you, that was really important as well. The fact that you need to get on with your builder is just one of the most important, like, you know, if you've got a builder that's three thousand dollars cheaper but then you just do not get on with them for whatever reason that three thousand dollars is better spent with the builder that you actually yeah. get on with because it's like you said i mean you know you, you you're in their house the bill is in your house and you're potentially living there you need to make sure you get on with them um and trust them and that that's that's more important and also just understanding um you know their past jobs and talking to their past clients to get a good feel of, of you know how how it all turned out with other people exactly but yeah I think that's that's pretty much pretty much sums it up yeah I think for the um I mean you know you, you could go until I could talk about this for days on end you know <laughs> yeah. with the, with yeah. the experience we've had of different quoting different clients but it's yeah it's just um homeowner needs to be prepared and you need to be aware of what an allowance is and compare the allowances and make sure that you're not getting a two-page document and that they've put in effort. And that does involve paying the builder in most cases. And we're, we're the same. We, we don't do free quotes. We yeah. do free ballpark figures and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's good to, so people are aware of, you know, what to really start off with um, because I find that a lot of homeowners that come to us that actually just don't know, it's not even, you know, they just aren't aware of how much things cost and, um, you know, and it is, it's just about educating um, people from the very beginning so that they're not going to waste more time if they're not going to be able to afford this elaborate, um, you know, dream, yeah. dream home that, um, that they can then, you know, look at other avenues, other um, types of, um materials or or whatever the case may be to do to do that job but um it's good to, to start off with that like a ballpark but but then definitely um you know invest in a a detailed proposal or a quote as you call it um to really you know understand exactly what they're going to get and exactly what it's going to cost before before starting before signing any contracts and getting once once the contract's signed then it's you know it's really tricky to to get out of so yeah. um you know it's it is putting that time and effort into the forefront of your you know the pre-construction phase um i think that's actually nearly more important than than the actual um construction um section you know so it is important um for homeowners to be aware that um you know if there's sufficient time and effort put in at the the front stages that it just eliminates so much stress and frustration afterwards so um yeah Sure. that's that's i think we've covered most briefly most um most avenues on that but yeah as you said we could talk about it um you know going into the depth <laughs> of it and and stories about horror stories and and um you oh, know yeah. and obviously good stories too that come out of it but um but yeah but look jane thanks so much for um having a chat with us today on that um i hope it's nice. helped anybody that's following and and listening today so um thanks for joining us and we'll um look forward to catching you again soon thank you louise good to speak to you thanks